ladies and gentlemen is Ocho Rios Jamaica um, I did I did quite a few videos over the years um, on my shorts feed about my tile job that I did here 20 years ago but it's a shorts feed so it's like a minute long and I wasn't any re never really able to explain anything in like a deep dive type fashion so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go over to my tile job that I did 20 years ago next month Next month it'll be 20 years. And I'll go into a little explanation of why I did the job. I'm gonna do a little deep dive on some of, I might say mistakes, but just a little critique on my own work. And there's gonna be some disturbances, I'm sure. As there always seems to be anytime I try and do a video here in Jamaica um, with noise and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Anyway, this is the job. So what happened was I had, well, it's a long story, I'm not gonna do, details really don't matter but 20 years ago 2003 I moved here and rented an apartment and I actually lived here for pushing about two years it was about a year and a half that I stayed here uh, the first month that I was here um, I had packed a couple barrels and shipped them here personal belongings clothes some tools and stuff like that one of the things I brought with me was a is a tight a table wet saw the kind that sprays back at you with the four inch blade yeah it was kind of rudimentary but it's all like it look you know like literally bring with me so what i did is um i started figuring out trying to ways different ways of advertisement and advertisement uh especially back in 2003 before the internet really really took hold the really form of ab advertisement that i could do would have been the local paper when i say local it's island wide but it's called uh, the jamaican gleaner the problem is most people don't get it Monday through Friday. They only get it Sunday or they'll just pick it up from a newsstand on Sunday. And the problem with that is it goes away. The newspaper gets thrown out and so does my advertising money. So I had an epiphany and let me step back over here and before I start getting into this. Um, the sidewalk was, was fairly, well, not fairly, it was bare. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this tile over here was already done. And I don't know, it just got, was an epiphany of mine. I'm like, oh, okay, well, they got a tile over here, but there was nothing on this shop. So I said to the shop owner, hey, I want to do a tile job in front of your shop. And he's like, oh, no, 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 I'm not interested, you know, because he thinks I was going to charge money. And I said, no, 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 I'm not going to charge anything for you. Like, I'm going to do this. Look here, these people have tile and you don't. It looks kind of nice, don't it? I mean, you know, instead of just like nasty concrete. And so anyway, long story short, I convinced the men to do the tile job because the caveat was that I'm going to advertise. So my name and my phone number is going to be on this tile permanently so that people can call me. Two things about that. One, I'm going to get permanent advertising, which I did. Um, I did end up getting. But the second thing is that Jamaicans are inherently curious. So when I started this job, um, I started it somewhere about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, and I bled it out for like four days. This is not a four-day job. This is a two-day job. One day to tile it, the next day to grout. But again i wanted to make it so that people would stop and watch me working because that was a form of advertisement of it in itself and i got two jobs in that four day period just people walking by and saying hey can i get your phone number you know i like your machine that you have and da, da, da. so yes i got two jobs off of that the irony and the weird thing is my advertising that i did with my with my um um tile with the uh, with the letters and the numbers here i never got one call like not even like you would expect somebody like, oh, tile by Bob, let me call the number. Not one call, not even a prank call from that number, which is weird. The only money I made off of this is that. Now, to the point of the money thing, when I told this guy that I would do it for free, I already knew basically what I was gonna be spending in the tile because I did the measurement. So I bought a ceramic tile, a rudimentary 12 by 12. In fact, I don't even think this is, it might be a 12 but just a rudimentary ceramic tile that I didn't spend a lot on. It may have been a dollar a piece or something like that, um, or less. It could have been less than that. Um, and what I did on this trim, all this is, it's kind of, and I should have really used this on the inside because it does have a texture to it, but um, this was one full piece of tile, 12 by 12, and then I just cut them into like three inch strips because I wanted to make a border around all of these um, diagonal tiles that I already knew I was gonna do. So I think I had three or four tile of this, and then I just cut it down to three inch pieces. Then this strip is plastic. 
it's like a shoulder strip but it's plastic and so i bought that then um of all the tile places in in ocho rios i could not find any letters or numbers so i had to make a special trip all the way to kingston which is on the other side of the island the south side of the island to go get the numbers and letters and that's what these are so this is tile by bob and then it has my number it's an 876 area code but so is everything here so 882-2268 funny thing is when i posted the shorts they're like a lot of people would comment is that an eight upside down because if you go this way it's still like an eight upside down so i don't know about that but anyway the point being this is permanent advertising so it won't go away with the newspaper getting back to the cost all of this tile, I'm not going to count it, but it's basically about a five foot by six foot, and eh, maybe seven foot, five by seven foot. And I think my best memory is I spent less than $80. It may have been around 65. I don't know. In my mind, it was like 3,500 Jamaican dollars. And at the time with the, with the exchange rate, it came down to about 50, $60, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I actually spent more on the numbers and the letters than I did all of this material because that was more important to me than anything. Having said that, it wasn't important to me to spend a lot of money because again, you know, it's just gonna be a tile job outside and all that stuff, you know, really didn't matter. What I did not do, and my critique kicks in now, what I did not do is I did not line it up properly. So if you notice my little diagonal cuts, not only are they smaller up here and then disappear over here, but they incrementally get larger, 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 all right? That doesn't make any sense. Same over here. It's like nothing on the back end here, and then it gets larger and larger and larger. So obviously my measurement was way off um, insofar as that goes. Left to right and front to back, right on point, right in front of these posts. But for whatever reason, I don't know what I was thinking 20 years ago, um, I didn't square it out, and it should have been squared out. Although this looks, this tile looks very square to either end. Then I drilled a hole because they have this going on that they needed. Was that hole? Yeah, the hole was already there, but my tile wrapped around this hole. And this is the only piece of tile that got damaged. It looks like there's some chipping going on there. Yeah, definitely chipping going on with the edge of that. Um, and I should have cleaned that off. I should have had the plastic strip meet up to the threshold there, but I didn't. For whatever reason I had, I don't remember. But, um, you know, the interesting thing is, too, insofar as being me being cheap and all that stuff, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. If I'm not mistaken, and I, I'm certainly not mistaken on this, I did not buy a bunch of grout. I didn't buy a little box of grout or whatever. So, more than likely, almost 90% sure, this grout is the thin set. So the gray thin set that I used to set the tile was actually the grout that I used to grout with. And of course it's dirty, and so you're not seeing everything as clean as it possibly could be. I'm sure they haven't cleaned this in years. There was one point, I think about six months after I set it, they said, hey, this is kind of slippery when it gets wet. And you know, like, could you take it out of here? I'm like, well, first of all, it was a free job, so I'm not gonna take it out of there, but, but let me go get you some strips. So I got those bathroom strips, those non-skid strips that you usually use in a bathtub, and I put a bunch of them like in different directions all over here out of my pocket. And you can still see where some of that glue was left over from those strips, and those strips are long gone. Um, but apparently it wasn't slippery enough for them to do anything about it because they never took it up. Because I told them, I said, it's, it's, it won't hurt my feelings if you just take the whole thing up. It won't matter to me one way or the other. And and obviously they never Hello. went ahead and did that. Hello. How are you? You're going to be on YouTube. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. The damage that's been done over 20 years. And, and, and again, there's a lot of stuff to consider. Um, this being a gift store, I see carts brought in here, hand trucks brought in here all the time. People, traffic, all the tourists that come off of the ship, the ship parks over there. I don't know if there's one today, but the ship parks over there. So there's a lot of traffic that walks on here. There's a lot of uh, abuse and all that stuff that, that, that this has gone through. Plus the ocean is right over there. So you got salt air. It's very humid here and that humidity with the salt air, you know, permeates this all the time, like all the time. Um, Ocho Rios floods out from time to time. The streets will get flooded out. The water comes up on here. So this has been flooded out multiple times, I'm sure. Um, besides... Oh, 
noise, 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 tour buses. Um, besides just the fact that, you know, like I said, with the cheapness of the tile, the ceramic tile, these are not porcelain tiles, so they're kind of soft. But obviously I did a good job at bat buttering and, and troweling out my thin set to make it um, workable to where it lasted 20 years. So as I posted on one of my shorts, there is a, a piece that chipped off of here on this, and I think I showed on the other end as well, where it kind of chipped off, but again, it's plastic. Um, I saw one cracked tile. There it is. Yeah. So there's a there's a circular, kind of a half circular crack right there on that piece of tile. But other than that, I'm just I'm just shocked and surprised. There's a pe a, a couple of pieces that have chipped off. I don't know. Those are pieces of dirt and stuff like that. These aren't chips. Oh, that's bubble gum. These have chipped. And you, yeah. Some of the numbers and letters have chipped off. And that's it, which is amazing. Totally amazing. You would expect more damage after this long with all the abuse that it gets. Totally amazing. I'm amazed. But yeah. Um, I think it was June of 2020, uh, 2003. Yeah, it was June that I came here. And this is May. So we're coming up into June here next month. And this will be 20 years old. And not a one, and not one phone call for my advertising. If this had gone away, it would have been the same to me. It would have been the same to me. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just I'm stoked that it's just lasted 20 years without even really trying too hard. Like I said, you know, in regard to you know all the stuff that was done as cheap as possible. Transportation wise. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Like I said, very, very surprised that it lasted 20 years. And and I think the other two jobs that I did that I got off of uh, being having been there, as I said, and got those other two jobs, I haven't checked back on those. One of them was at a great house. Um, I did a bathroom job on that. And then another one is another parish called Trelawney. And that was for a Rasta guy. And I did, I think I did two bedrooms, a living room and a hallway. Oh my God, that was one of the worst jobs I had. Because they don't make the concrete nice, and they don't make it like this. When they build a house, it looks like the moon. Like, like literally, it looks like the moon where there's just like that. And it's just pits, 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 pits. And there's no self-leveler that I could use. So the thin set actually got used to level that job out. It was a lot. If one bag of thin set should last 100 square feet, I'd probably use three. <laughs> could have been four. Yeah, that was a hard job. And that's all the work I did. Because what happened was, one of the jobs that I did at the Gray House, the guy told me, he said, do you have a work permit? And I said, no. And he said, you gotta be careful because if somebody gets really upset with you, they could turn you in for working without a work permit and you could be deported. And I'm like, holy crap. So I actually sold him my tile saw and I stopped doing work. And I didn't need to work, I had sold the house so I had money in the bank. But you got to have something to do, and that was one of my something to do at the time. So yeah, that is a story behind my 20-year-old Jamaican tile job. I'm going to go get something to eat at Burger King. You know, a funny thing occurred to me. I wasn't on camera during that time. I'm rarely on camera. Even if you go back 13 years on my channel, it never occurred to me, it never occurred to me to be here, right? My face is like up front and center because my channel never was Bob Doyle. It was Star Tile. It's always been Star Tile. So I always kind of felt like it was um, a bit weird to show me on camera, you know? Like my channel has always been about my work. I'm just saying. I don't hate people that go on camera and go and look at this and look at that with their face on it, but I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. If it's about your work, it's about your work. Then show your work. Why are you showing your mug? Hey, if you enjoyed that video and you learned something, consider being a Patreon member. Five, ten, fifteen dollars a month would help me greatly produce more videos. I make nothing up from YouTube at all. If you're going to call me for advice, 
please donate $50 for 30 minutes. My link to my PayPal and my Patreon account is down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get immediate notifications as soon as I post a video. And thank you very much for your support. <laughs>